Hey, 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 everybody. We're out here in uh, Charleston, Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, we just, uh, we started a new route um, going from Norwalk to Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, we started it on Monday. Our truck broke down in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. We got a truck. southeast toward 64th Street we Southeast. And uh, so we were in Charleston, West Virginia now. We had a guy bring his truck up from, uh, or bring our load up from Norwalk uh, to Charleston, West Virginia to try to help us catch up a little bit. Um, Head south toward 64th is, Street Southeast. Where we, uh, where we met at here, this is the Go Mart in uh, Charleston, West Virginia. And uh, one funny story I have about this place is, uh, would you quit messing around? Come on. Um, is one, one thing that uh, I always prided myself on a little bit as a trainer was uh, I had a bunch of students and I never, uh, I don't know what the grand total was, what I actually ended up doing in my 10 years, but uh, I prided myself on every every student I ever had, I finished. Um, that was one thing of training. A lot, of, a lot of the trainers, when they get students and they do something wrong, they do something they don't like, they have stinky feet, they grind their gears, um, they drop them off and they don't finish or if they think they're dangerous if they think they're uh, they can't trust them why they sleep uh, whatever reason they they drop them off really fast and I I do know some trainers you walk on this side that have never finished students and I I, I, I east on mine. Alex Lane toward McCorkle I'm Avenue and every one of them I, I never left anybody behind but uh, one thing that I did do is I I did leave a student on the side of the road one time and uh, but he was done with his training take the next right and, onto McCorkle uh, Avenue he finished his training he finished his miles he finished his days and soon as he got off his seat and he was done he sat in the passenger seat. He started packing up all of his stuff. And uh, he got in the passenger seat. And he was like, this McDonald's is funny right here. This is part of the story. This in 600 right feet, here. take the I-64, I-77 ramp to Brick Lane, Charleston. Um, but as soon as he, as soon as he got done uh, with his training, um, he got over in his passenger seat. He had all of his bags packed. And he started saying, "Take the next the right onto McCorkle Avenue." Girlfriend, whatever it was, and said, uh, "You know, oh, I'm done. I'm going back to the, I'm going back to the home office. I'm going to get my truck. I'm out of here." You know. And then he started saying, uh, "He got off the phone with her, and I'm like, well, we have, we have this load to." you know, up to Michigan or something, and then we'll get a load from Michigan to Dallas, and I'll take you to the yard. And, uh... In 500 feet, turn saying, right onto McCorkle Avenue. You're, uh... You're using me. You know, you're using me. You're trying to take advantage of me and make all this extra money. And, uh, it, it's time for me to go. You know, I'm done with my training. I, I want to go. I can't be sitting around worrying about making you money. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, really? I'm like, all right. He's like, uh, I said, well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this load up to up to uh, Michigan. We'll get a load. I already got a load from Michigan to Dallas, and we'll take you to the yard. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not driving another shift. Uh, you know, I'm done. I, I'm a, I'm a, a. Uh, passenger now i'm like oh oh really so i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh drive to drive to michigan and you're gonna drive back now i treat my students good man i always i always uh fed them i always uh 
we always went out to dinner. I always fed them steak dinners. They never had to uh, worry about uh, buying their own stuff. I always took care of them on the road. And as well as I did this guy, I took care of this guy. He never had to reach in his pocket for anything. And this guy was like, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the passenger seat. I ain't doing shit. I'm the passenger until, until we get to the yard. I'm like, oh, really? Okay. Well, that's good. And I'm like, uh, well, uh, I said, you must know, you must know the nearest Greyhound, right? He's like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, well, you know, you're talking like that. You must know, you must know uh, how you're getting to the yard, right? Because I said, I don't, I don't have passengers on this truck. This dog is taking forever. He's starting to piss me off. She likes to smell everything. Well, anyway, he, uh, this is exit, uh, we're on I-77, exit 95 in Charleston, West Virginia. And there's a little gas and go truck stop here. I've never been to it in my life, but I've never come to these little ass truck stops. Well, about four exits down is when he made those statements. So I, uh, I pulled off of this exit. I pulled into the truck stop right over here. That Pam truck is driving through there. And, uh, I told him, as, as I was getting off the exit, I had his counselor on the phone, and I said, uh, your student is going to be at exit 95 in Charleston, West Virginia, in about five minutes. And I said, uh, you can do whatever you want with him, but he's going to be on his feet. What, what the hell are you doing? This dog's scared to death. So, uh. Turn so right I took to him out to this truck stop right here, and I told him to get his shit out. And he's like, oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, he's all backing up, like, no, 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 no. I said, uh, get your shit and get it off of the truck. And uh, he had, like, some suitcases. He had one of those suitcases with the rollers on it. He had some, he was one of them students that brought everything with him, you know. So uh, he walked over here. To this McDonald's my truck was over here and uh, he walked across this McDonald's and I said hey just get the fuck out of here you know you're call your call your driver manager he'll tell you how you're getting to the yard I, I don't care how you're getting there he walked over here it was the funniest shit he there was a grocery cart right there next to that pot thing a grocery cart he put all his shit in the grocery cart and uh i i got my truck and i started driving out of here and when i uh when i would you quit this dog with wants to pull whatever direction i'm not going um when i pulled out of here when i pulled out of here he I pulled out of here and I made a right and uh, he was walking down the road. Jesus Christ, this dog is fucking driving me crazy. He, when I pulled out of here, I made a right. He was walking down the road with all his shit in the grocery cart and it was in 400 feet, he turn like right onto McCorkle dude, Avenue but, Southeast. And I mean, I, I, I don't know. I think he was walking over to the hotel over there. He must have talked to his uh, uh, guy, and he they told him where to go. But uh, he, uh, it was some funny shit, man. But he. Uh, that, that's the only student I ever dropped off. Take anywhere. the next right and onto McCorkle Avenue Southeast, the then take the I-64 ramp. And, uh, but he was, I always had students in my truck. I never had passengers. So uh, when he put himself into the passenger category, that's when he was homeless. But I just wanted to, it was funny when I came to this truck stop. I always forgot where it was where I left him. And uh, when, right when I pulled in here, I recognized the place. 
Um, but that's my story of uh, students uh, being on the road.